my dear students welcome to one more session session number 5 of the chapter web designing under that we are going to learn concept web hosting in our previous session <coughs> you have learned the basic html commands and basic html tags and form elements and so many tags of html and also at the beginning of the chapter we have explained about the basic definition of what is a web server what is a website everything so in this session i am going to explain about a concept web hosting students all of you are familiar with internet and also website so what is a website it is a collection of web pages you take an example of our college website you take example like this www.gsipuc.com <coughs> if you look into this this is website this is our college website so you know what is www it is a world wide web and gsipuc.com it is called domain it is domain so now all of you are able to access this website you are able to get into website you can access you can view or you can see the contents of contents of this website through internet so if you want to see the content of this so what is this by the way first of all this is nothing but your website this website suppose if if you want to see it or if you, if anyone you want to you would like to visit this website or to know the content of the this uh, puc uh, our college website what is supposed to be this supposed to be inside www so what is it www it is a server www is a world wide web it is a server so in this concept i am going to explain what is web hosting so what is web hosting suppose if you want to see the content of this website available to everyone so the the this particular website it has to be copied or it has to be placed inside the server so then once it is placed inside the server so everybody who are visiting everybody through internet can access our website so this is a simple meaning of web hosting so what do you mean by web hosting here the web hosting is this a one particular website which will be available to the user or everybody they can through internet inside the server world wide web so this is nothing but your web hosting so if you have a definition of this web hosting is the definition is it is a hosting hosting of web server application web server application on a computer on a computer so that through internet anyone can access electronic data electronic data with the help of web client that is nothing but web browser that is your web browser so if you look at definition of web hosting web hosting is nothing but hosting of web server application 
means for example this is our website this has to be loaded into the server so that is the, through it to a computer system and anyone can any user can access this website or web server web server through internet and what you can do that generally all website consists of contents generally we say e content that is nothing but electronic content so electronic content or data can be accessed and how can we access it we access it with the help of client or web browser here there are two concepts here one is server as well as client here so what is a server server already you have learned a basic definition of web server i mean it server is a system or a place where all the resources are are loaded or it will be available to the users so what are clients or in this example what are web clients web clients are nothing but the users they can access the content of the server with the help of web browser so web browser is nothing but a client so here so this is the basic concepts of web hosting web hosting is nothing but you can imagine that suppose if you have your one website that has that we have to make it available to different users isn't it so in that case that particular website has to be loaded inside or at the server that is world wide web w, that is web server so any user can access the content of this through client software that is your web browser so this is what normally we do isn't it so whenever if you want to if you want to visit any of the website or if any want to go to or any want to open any of the particular website normally we go to web browser through the web browser we will get into a particular or uh, any website through internet so this is your web hosting and here in web hosting content here there are we have types of web hosting here there are four types of web hosting types of <coughs> web hosting first one is free web hosting first one is free web hosting second one is virtual or shared web hosting next one is dedicated dedicated web hosting and finally co-location co-location web hosting okay students let us try to get the meaning of definition of these different types of web hosting now first of all what is free web hosting now imagine that suppose if you have a website if you have a if you develop a website if you want to store it or if that has to be maintained who is going to maintain that isn't it so someone has to maintain that so for that they are going to charge something they are going to charge for all these things so to maintain a website to load into their server everything will be charged by a particular company or web hosting company so see here if you look into that free web hosting in this type your particular website will be loaded with free of cost free of cost and this is first of all you have to keep in your mind who is going to load the service here is a web hosting company web hosting company <coughs> web hosting company they are going to host you are or they are going to maintain your web service sorry website with i mean without taking or without charging anything else so just it is free of cost and why do they do that this is maybe a for their fun or maybe for their experiment 
and for research and normally a small website a small website with limited content with limited content <coughs> these type of websites are loaded or uh, hosted with free of cost so this is free web hosting free web hosting and if you look into that there are few companies few web hosting companies they are wordpress dot com w i x wix next one is go daddy you might have familiar with this go daddy next one square space and google cloud hosting just i have taken these examples these are the web hosting company they will load or they will maintain a website for free of cost so this is about free web hosting now next we will come to second type virtual or shared web hosting okay now look into that virtual or shared web hosting as i have told you already web hosting is nothing but this company they are going to store or place your website in their server so every web hosting company will be having their server that is web server and here they are going to load or they are going to uh, copy your website inside their web server so what is the meaning of virtual shared web hosting here this web hosting company what they will do they will host many websites they are going to host many website along with other websites in their web server for example our college gsapu.com this is one one of the website similarly you take another college sharda vidya mandir or you take teresian college teresian see suppose you take an example of three three websites so what is virtual or shared web hosting is the meaning is that the web hosting company they are going to host your website along with other website along with their other website so here they are going to maintain they are going to maintain such a way that there won't be any connectivity or there won't be any link or relationship with with one to another so this is this says all administration we say administration will take will be taken care of by this company so that users or clients for example we won't be knowing that i mean in that particular server who are all websites are available which are websites available these are not able to notice it so web hosting the free virtual or shared web hosting is nothing but a web hosting company they are going to host our website along with some other website so that they are going to they are going to take off take care of administration in such a way that and they are going to provide a secure browsing or secure access of data and maintenance so this is your virtual or shared web hosting now we look into the next one is dedicated web hosting next let us know the meaning of 
dedicated hosting dedicated web hosting again as i told you you take an example like this is a web server this is web server maintained by web hosting company in in dedicated web hosting server it is this company they provide a separate web server to different users or different clients for example this is web server 1 server 2 server 3 or server 4 so this company web hosting company they may maintain they may be maintaining different web servers and there will be dedicated one server of the company to one of the website for example jsipu college for this is for our college and this is for second college and this is for another one this is for some other thing so here this is web hosting dedicated web hosting is nothing but this web hosting company they are going to host their particular website along with the website but they are going to provide one separate server for one website so this is your dedicated web hosting and okay and finally we look into the co location web hosting what is co location web hosting in co location web hosting this is you take an example this is again web server of web hosting company and here for example this is our college website this is our college website and we are having web server here this is web server of website of for example to take our college server this is a web server we we are we will be maintaining it our college this is our or within our college premises so this is our web server we are maintaining the, our website here so what is co location co location is nothing but so what this company they will do is here instead of we are maintaining this our web server we 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 are going to keep this our web server this is a physical physical server a physical server a physical computer system we are going to place in their company in their office in their office in their office or in their company and they are going to provide a rack space means the meaning is that see this company anyhow the web hosting company they will be maintaining number of websites number of web server of different companies so what they will do is this uh, this company they will going to provide a rack space or some space for our web server so physically we are moving our web server to to web hosting company and they are going to provide all connectivity connection part of it they are going to provide connection part connection part and meaning physical connectivity to the server and but all administration all administration done by the customer administration done all taken care of by the customers so this is another type of web hosting this is co location web hosting student just i summarize that what is what is web hosting web hosting is nothing but hosting of web application or website in the web hosting company server or they are going to place it they are providing a space for customer that is web hosting under that we have uh, we have learned there are two word again web server as well as client web server is the web server is a place where all websites are loaded or they are going to maintain by the web hosting company and all the customers or all the clients they will access their websites 
or content of website what we generate cause e content through a client web client that is nothing but web browser apart from that just now we have discussed about types of web hosting that is free web hosting what is free web hosting it is the web hosting company they will maintain the provide service for free of cost without charging anything for this one and again for virtual or shared web hosting here in this example they are this web hosting company they are going to provide a service to our website or our the web server along with other websites next one is dedicated web hosting in dedicated web hosting the web hosting company they are provide a separate one server to clients to the customer that is dedicated and co-location web hosting is nothing but in co-location physically we are moving our customers are moving their server into uh, web hosting companies place or to their office to their server so along so here web hosting company they are going to provide a rack space what generally we say rack space to the customer web server so physically we are moving this system to their office okay their location that is called co-location in this example all connectivity part for web server everything will be taken care of by the web hosting company and other administration part will be given rights to the customer so they can maintain the maintain their website by themselves so this is about web hosting concept next we we move on to next concept that is web 2.0 web 2.0 next concept is web 2.0 web 2.0 it is nothing but a website it is a website and it emphasize on it is emphasize on interactive interactive collaborative ease of use okay here what is web 2.0 it is nothing but a website it is nothing but as it also a website now these websites is it is it provides or it encourages or most in most interactive way of communication between server and the clients and again collaborative see here it provides so many collaboration in the sense it provides many activities for example for your online online marketing and e-commerce so what is web, web 2.0 it is a type of website it encourages or emphasis on interactive session on the website means suppose if you go visit any of the website you might have come across many activities for example maybe from registering to the website you are copying uploading a file downloading some information all activities can be done on the particular website similarly this is also a website it emphasizes or provides service service through interactive session so here if i say interactive nothing but you can 
do many activities many act what do you mean by activities maybe uploading or downloading this activity copying a file contents everything is an activity those things can be done and collaborative what do you mean collaborative you can also encourages you encourages users or clients to clients to go for activities like online marketing it is a collaboration so with the help of this this particular website they encourage for online marketing or e-commerce and most of you know what is e-commerce that is electronic commerce uh, is nothing but buying or selling of goods through internet with the help of this website so this is about what we what is web 2.0 students next we more we want to one more concept domain registration next we we want to domain registration see in previous examples or previous sessions we might have learned about different types of domains we have different domain domains types of domains there is dot com dot edu dot org and dot mil see these are all different domain names available here and for if you look at any other website you take our college website that is w w dot g s i p u c dot com here dot com is a domain dot com is a domain so whenever we want to go for any website so this is uh, we have to register first step is we have to register domain name here domain name is this this is a domain and here this is our domain name the step first step whenever we want to, we would like to go for any website first of all we are going to decide the name of the website name for example jsipuc and we are looking for domain name so this is your one of the domain name dot com and here there we have different domains are available generally dot com this will be given for for commercial applications for commercial in any, any other website which has been developed for with the intention of any business or commerce there is commercial application we are using it and for generally for any of the education institutions so they will be provide with dot edu domain and dot org dot org it is for small organization if a, a small company is a startup company if they want would like to go for a website and they would like to go for registration domain registration normally it is for small companies they will be given dot org and similarly we have dot mil this is for military applications at uh, defense level so this are different and here first of all you should know what is a domain domain names are available here and here domain name and we are going to register now just now i told you in my previous uh, section web hosting we are going to put this our website inside web server isn't it so in order to go for this first step is we have to registration has to be done domain registration has to be done who is going to do this this is done by i write here i c a n n the full form is internet internet corporation internet corporation for assigned for assigned names and numbers numbers and this icnn it is a non profit 
non profit organization it is a non profit organization what do you mean by this icn is a it is an organization and they are going to maintain or they are going to register all domain names of through internet inside server so here these domain names has to be registered at icann the full form is internet corporation for assigned names and numbers and it is a non profit organization means just like ngo how normally we say ngo non government organization similarly it is a non profit organization first of all we have to register at this level then we go for other things next here and what are the other things we have to remember suppose i would like to develop a website for our college for a company so we have to remember few of the things and there are some points few points to be remembered before we go for domain registration there are one is domain name domain name register domain registration domain registration and email and business account business account and we say bandwidth bandwidth and space space and limitations and limitations so students here just let me explain you few things to register a domain name registration and here whenever you want to go for registration or a website we have to think of this following seven points here first of all i would like to know what's the name i have to give for my website for example jsipuc this is the name we have decided here and again dot com this will be this is a domain this is the domain this has to be registered and this will be assigned by this organization ica now they are going to decide or they are going to assign with the the type of domain by looking at the type of service a type of business we are into next registration and apart from that normally if you look into that and also we have to think of whenever a website is available that that comes a limitations here what do you mean by email so whenever if i mean you will be have an option if you look in web website there are some options it is going to provide so many user id to the clients imagine that I have a web, web, one company website they are going to have around 50 employees in their company so i mean your website should have enough space or enough um, features to provide a email id to all is all their users so that is i am talking about email here so this is has to be keep in our mind and apart from that accounts how many accounts are possible in within our one, one website how many accounts i can create what the how many emails how many messages I, messages i can store all things we have to think of then business account bandwidth is nothing but your normally we say bandwidth is nothing but your speed nothing but your speed we use the word bandwidth and again space space comes to the pitch comes into picture while storing our information suppose how many accounts we have email or accounts we have given how many messages will be there so so many things we can so information can how many what how much information we can store those things can be uh, you have to think of all these things and again limitation so for example limitations of the web hosting company or the this website here whether i mean does it support different types or types of contents different types of information and and all the information will be of will be of different types if i if i what is the meaning of different types of information 
for you take an example like dot dos is a type of file dot excellence dot ppt is a type of file so similarly dot jpg dot png and again dot mp4 mp also different types of files so our websites we should support different types of softwares or content can it should support different types of information so whenever if you want to go for any domain registration or to develop any website we have to keep these things in our mind before we go for registration okay dear students let me conclude the session at this point i will come back to you with my next session thank you very much